Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I have a haul for you today. Stop! Oh, I, I have Phoebe here with me today. I, wouldn't, I haven't showed her on my channel in forever, so I thought she'd make an appearance today. She sees them and she's getting, she's barking at the people on the screen. So I just wanted her to say hi. Oh, she, stop! Oh my god, okay. Okay, you're done. First, I'm gonna start off with shoes and accessories that I got. I don't have a ton but um that's what i'm gonna start with first here's this purse i thought this would do good on depop it's like one of those y2k like 90s style bags i thought the print was cute on it too so i picked this up then i have these cute green jelly style i think that's what they're called like jelly sandals but i just thought these were adorable they're size eight women's and they're just really funky and cute next pair of shoes i have are these these like pointed toe kitten heels kind of like a y2k style i've been doing really good with shoes like this on depop and ebay they're doing great so i thought these would be perfect for that uh, then i found these wedges and they're kind of unique just the way the wedge is shaped this one kind of has some the wedge is kind of a different color right here i don't know what that is maybe some staining or something but it's still really cute these are adorable these are a size there, it's in there but i can barely see it right now so they're probably like a size 8, I would assume. These might be my favorite pair of shoes. They're really cute. I think they're going to do really well. They are like these pointed pointed toe, but then the toe is square at the end. And they have this really cute buckle. And then almost like this croc. It's like a croc print. These are a size 7.5. So these are great size. Really cute. Love the style on those. Then I was at a yard sale the other day. And I found these little Mickey Mouse bags. I don't usually go for Disney stuff, typically, but these were just cute, and like the people, I just wanted to buy something from them almost, <laughs> that's kind of why I bought this, but this is older, this is a Mickey Mouse, it's like a little coin purse, but I knew it was older because the tag in it, I've had stuff with this tag before, so I knew it was older, and I was just like, it's cute, so like, why not, it's just my, it's real easy to photograph, and oh, my camera's shaking, it's real easy to photograph and just list, and then I just got this bag too with it. I don't think this one is as old because it looks newer, obviously. It might be a little older. I mean, the tag's a little older looking, but it's just a cute little, cute little bag. This last pair of shoes is from an estate sale. They're, they said they were from the 1940s, so they're definitely old. There was another pair of shoes there that they said were from the 40s, but they were really, they were kind of beat. They were like a gray suede heel and they were kind of beat, but these were really cute. This, they're like a dark red wedge shoe. Can't find a size in them, but they fit me, and I wear like a six and a half, seven usually. So these are probably like around a size seven, I would say, but they're adorable, and I don't think I've ever had anything this old. Uh, the bottoms are in like good shape too. I don't think she wore these super hard, so they're awesome. So it's just a cool older vintage piece. I don't know if they will do well, but you never know, and they're just, they were so old, and I just wanted to do something with them, so. Okay, now let's get into the clothing. So first thing is this cute top the brand is affliction and i've seen some other sellers local to me post like them finding this so i think it's a good brand but it's just a cool graphic anyway even if it's not it's a size small and it's really cute i almost like want to keep it because i love the color and like i love the way the shirt is like the fit of it like it's loose but it's not like oversized i love shirts like this but i just don't think i'd wear it a lot i don't know maybe i want to keep it i don't know i don't know i probably won't wear it but it's adorable. It has like a raven on it too. Or a crow, a raven crow, something like that. Awesome shirt. Next is this guest tank top. This is really awesome. Found this in the kids section. And I've seen a lot of resellers talk about don't, you know, skip the kids section, always check. They were right, because this is like the first time I've done that. And I found this cute guest tank top. Um, really adorable. It's in great shape. It has like these cute little beads on it. Um, here is the tag. It's a size medium. But awesome. I couldn't believe I found that in the kids section. Next thing I found in the kids section, which this makes kind of sense why I was in there, it says Elmo tank top. And it says Elmo on it. This is just so funny. And I thought it would be good on Depop. And it's a size small in women's. But here's the thing. So I didn't, I don't know how they had, I think they had this tied. Like, because it's not ripped or anything, so I don't know. It's missing this. It's missing this little plastic piece. So I just thought maybe I could try to sew it back together because I can sew a little bit. So it's like, okay, I can sew this and save it. But it was in the kids section. It's so cute. Next thing I found was this Guns N' Roses shirt. 
just a cool band tee. Usually I don't pick up stuff like this, but I just I just like picking up things that have to do with rock bands. Um, and it was different. Like it wasn't like your typical Guns N' Roses shirt. This is a size large. There is some like staining on it, but you don't really notice it because of the print of the shirt. And I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but it almost looks like bleach stains. I think that's what it is. Like there's some bleach stains on it. So I was like, well, that kind of goes with the whole vibe of the shirt. So, so I guess I have a couple more accessory type things. But, okay, so I have some scarves here. So this first scarf is really cute. I wanted to try it. I know scarves, like, haven't done well for me in the past, but I thought maybe on Depop, like, I think this is in, like, the skinny Y2K scarves. So I got this red one. This one was really cute. Um, oh my god, this is, like, one of, like, the Sneed, the Sneed or whatever from the Lorax, the Sneed thing. Oh my god, because it, like, opens up. <laughs> That's cute. So I guess you could open it up and wear it, or you can just wrap it around. This is really interesting. Love that. The other scarf, this is the one I found first. This is really cute. It opens up too. I'm just noticing that as well. I love this. This is so cute. I think this is going to do good on Depop. If I, I don't know if I should try to like model them, you know, and take photos in them because it's hard to photograph scarves like, you know, just laying there unless you lay them right. So maybe I'll like model them or something to make them look, you know, more appealing because I look at the Depop edit a lot. And I've seen like the scarves that they have listed on there and people are usually modeling them. So I'm like, maybe I just need to try that. I usually, I don't model anything on Depop. Usually sometimes I will include it, but never as like the cover photo. And then here's the other one. This is super cute. I love this. <laughs> Why is my voice getting so high? I love this. Really cute. This one, oh, this one does not open up. So this is not a need. This is just a regular scarf. But how Y2K adorable is that and then when i paid i think i paid a hundred dollars for all this stuff and i had like two dollars left because i had a hundred dollar bill so she was like just you know throw some of this stuff in so i got this it's like this christmas scarf it has these bells on the end of it so i was like okay i can wear this next year and be festive even though christmas isn't my favorite holiday i mean why not or i'll sell it but i'll probably just keep that then i got this top if you can see it so it's almost like cottage core like vibes i guess i don't know this is a size 2x there's the tag just i love the style of it i mostly pick up things now based on style i don't see any stains on this so i think we're good but it's just adorable it's an awesome awesome top got another top similar to that one here we go has like the ruffles, the lace, a lot of great keywords that I can tag with this stuff on Depop. This was made in the USA. Here's the tag. I don't see a size tag, but I'm assuming it's like an XL or maybe a large. I don't know. I'll have to measure it, but really cute. Love that. Okay, a couple more accessories. There's going to be a few more in here because they're mixed in the bag. Didn't realize that. Got this hat. This is, I believe, a golf. This is a golf hat and it has a duck on it. But look at the little, it's like golf courses all over it. I think that's what that is. Like each hole or something like that. Yeah, each hole, like one, two. Really cute. I like the style of hat. Um, it is a little worn on the inside, but you know, I can you can always wash hats. I mean, um, there's the tag and it's got this cute little, how this adjusts. Oh, this is awesome. That's so easy. Oh my gosh, you just pull it and like re-snap it. Love that. Okay, didn't even notice that. Cool. The next hat I got um, I don't know what this is, the snowbird thing. I Maybe it just means like you're a snowbird. A snowbird is like people that come down in Florida during the winter months. I don't know, but here's the tag. I got it because it's corduroy. It's like a red corduroy and just, again, the style. And maybe somebody, a lot of people, I don't think sometimes people care the graphics. Sometimes it's just the style. But yeah, really cute. Snap back. Then I got this bucket hat, and this one's really fun because it's, well, it says Alaska all over it, but there's pins all over it. Okay, let's see. What are some of the pins from? Yukon, Denali National Park, Capital of Mighty Peace, Kenai, Alaska, I Survived the Alaska Highway, Alaska Highway, and there's like a Canada flag, um, another Alaska pin. Yeah, so there's pins all over it. Really cute. A um, little worn on the inside, but this can be easily washed, so not a big deal. But this is really fun. Okay, where's the, what's the tag? I'm spending way too much time talking about this. There's the tag. It's worn out a little bit, but it's great. Really adorable hat. BB. And then I got this. Oh, I think it might be faux leather. Faux leather bucket hat. 
I don't see a tag inside, so I'm not really sure, but it looks like, does not look like real leather to me. There's a zipper pocket on it. Just thought it was cute. All right, these hats were in a free bin. And so I think I could wash most of them. This New England Patriots hat does have a, like a little stain on the inside, stain on the inside a little bit. NFL tag, thought it's cute. Can wash it. Next one was this PGA Golf Tour hat. Now this is, there's nothing really special about this one, but it's kind of like that Y2K-ish, 90-ish look style. So it's like some little girly or guy might like a hat that's like the PGA Tour, you know, like preppy, rich, golf vibes, whatever. This has a little Velcro adjustable thing on the back and the inside's pretty clean on this. So I think we're good with that one. I think a lot of people that buy hats off of Depop, they probably like wash them first, I'm assuming. Maybe they don't, I don't know, but. I would assume maybe. Okay, then this one is another Alaska hat. This person must have traveled to Alaska quite a lot because there's a lot of Alaska merch there. I did not get all of it. Phoebe. Okay, anyways, this hat is a little worn here, a little dusty. Needs to probably be washed a little bit, but... Hi, Phoebes. Um, um, I liked it because the wolf on it. That's mainly why I got it. What I got is this sparkly jacket. Really cute. It has shoulder pads in it. Love this. It's a size, it's a size 16, it's like a size large about, but really awesome. I think I said it has shoulder pads. Then I got this corset. I love corsets like this that are like real corsets. There's the back, buttons all the way up. Good luck getting all those things together because that's a pain, but it's worth it because it's cute. Okay, there is some staining on the inside a little bit, uh, but nothing crazy. This is a size 34C. That's the only hard thing about listing a corset like this that has a bra size on it because I never know like what to list it under. If I click that it's a bra, people will be less likely to find it. If I put it under the tops category, I feel like it'd be easier to find, but then I don't know what to size it because it's a bra size. I don't know. So I'll probably just list it as like a small maybe in tops. Next I found this skirt, this slip skirt. Um, I tried to stop picking these up because I have too many, but the bottom on this one was really unique. So I picked it up anyway. Don't see a size. I'd say this is like a medium, medium. Maybe large because it has stretch to it. On this dress, like the halter neck style dress, really love the length on this and like the little hem on the bottom. Super cute. And then down the back, it has like this beading. This is a size six. Really awesome dress. On this dress, it's like a butterfly, but butterfly printed like slip dress. It's pretty long but very cute. I love the print. This is a size six as well. This next thing is this really cool jacket. I love the print. I love how it's like this shiny material. Oh wow, this is really cool, you guys. Okay, so you know like on your driver's license, how like when it hits the light, it shows like a different, you know, symbol or print. That's kind of what this jacket does. And I don't know if you can see it, but the way it hits the light, there's like a metallic different print underneath. And it's like a separate floral oh my god that is so cool i love that so much so that's so i don't know if you can even see that in the camera maybe a little bit but this is awesome this is a size extra large made in the usa and this is the tag it looks pretty old love that okay next thing is this floral blazer oh i don't know if you're getting the full effect because it's not buttoned but you get the idea it's really cute love the floral print it's awesome. Looks like a grandma's couch. It's a size large made in the USA. Shoulder pads on it. I found another scarf. This one I think could be, is really fun because you could wear it as a scarf or it like spreads out and you can wear it as like, you know, like this kind of. Um, it's like, see, it's like kind of like a V shape. So then I got that and there's like sequins on it. It's really cool. Okay, this I believe came in a set because I think the pants are somewhere, but it's this windbreaker. This is really fun. I love this. Love the print. It's got shoulder pads in it. This is a size large. I wonder, yeah, here are the pants right here. They're just plain black, like track pants. I don't do the greatest with track suits. These are a size 1X. Those are the greatest with track seeds, but like I try because I like them. So, you know, I think one day eventually they will sell. This is a suit set as well. So here's the blazer. It's this very light pastel 
floral color. It's like yellowish. Looks very much more yellow in person, I feel like. But yeah, this has shoulder pads in it and it's a size. Doesn't say what size. I'm gonna assume a large made in the USA. Really cute. And then here are the matching pants that go with it. Oh wait, is this a skirt? No, these are pants. Here are the pants that go with it. They have pockets. Does the pants have a size in it? Pants are a size large, so I'm, yep, I'm assuming the jacket is too. This might be my favorite piece from the haul. So it's this jacket. Let me look at this. It's like a blazer jacket, but it has like this fringe, like, uh, I don't even know how to describe this, like 80s. I don't know what keywords I'm gonna use, but this is just too cute. Then the inside is like this pattern. This is a size medium. It's interesting, this tag. Paula Sweet Muslin Mink. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I feel like I need to look it up though. It's very different. I've never seen anything like this before, so I'm obsessed with that. That's so cute. Okay, this next piece is Bottenworth. Uh, this is an older brand. This is so cute. It's a fleece zip up and it has puppies all over it. I'm a sucker for things like this. How stinking cute is this? Okay, it is a size large. Size large. So adorable. I love this so much. It reminds me of Phoebe. It had little Phoebe's all over it. Okay. This is my mom got for her. It's like a velour zip up jacket that has floral embroidery on it. This is awesome. It's a size 1X, but I think my mom is keeping that. Okay, this is a really cute cardigan. It does have a stain on it on the back that I did not see when I bought it, but it buttons up all the way. So just imagine it's buttoned up all the way. And then it's just got a really cute design on it. I just love stuff like this. This is a size 2X, it says. Of course, I give measurements for everything, but this is adorable. Uh, then I found this skirt. This is a size large. Size large purple floral midi skirt. Really love this. Tag is so interesting. I don't even know what it says. D Young... Edwardian by somebody. Very interesting. This is a size seven. It's a size seven. And this dress is just beautiful. So it's got like, I don't know, I guess you could wear it off the shoulder or like this. But let me show you. So it has these cute pockets in the front and then look at this hem on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is adorable. It's the cutest thing ever. The cutest thing ever. I love the pockets in the front. Like that, those are just so cute. So yeah, I got that. I need to maybe look that up. I'm sure it's nothing, but you never know. It looks like an interesting tag. This is a slip dress, but it's more like a nightgown style because it has <laughs> style. What am I Southern? Oh my God. Okay. It's more like a nightgown style, but because it's not a tank top, but it was in great condition. I didn't see any flaws on it. I will probably maybe because I oh wait, every time I get a slip dress and I think there's no flaws, I usually always find one, but sometimes not, but I don't know. It doesn't have a size tag on it, but it's like a medium large, maybe. Next thing I got is like this little Y2K style top. It's just got the cute hem, um, like, or not the hem, like the ruffles on the sleeves, the ruffles in the middle, and the ruffle thing on the back, and like some pleats kind of. This is a size medium. So just a cute shirt. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting to the end here. I think we'll have one or two more things. Next, I found this Western style printed fleece jacket the buttons are off they're supposed to match up with the pattern but there we go it's not missing any buttons i just buttoned it stupid this is a size one x but maybe more like an xl maybe i don't know but this is really cute i love the print on that that's mainly why i picked it up okay this is the last thing in the haul it's a pretty big coat so i'm gonna try to like stand up and show it but here here's the the top of it it's got like this really cool print on it and I think it might be wool. It's a size 10. Let's see if it's wool. It's 30% wool on the outside. So here's the coat. How awesome is this? It's really adorable. The lady said she's had it since the 80s. This is really cool. I love this. But yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. I don't know how long this haul is going to end up being because I kind of rambled. So I don't know how much of that's going to get cut out of the video. But um. But yeah, that's everything. I mostly got all of that stuff from an estate sale and the other stuff that I got was from a couple thrift stores. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back soon with another haul, I'm sure. 
and I might do another thread up box soon. So let me know what you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.